Jonathan here from HGM Electronics. Today we're going to take you through downloading and installing the CompuShift setup app, which is used with the CompuShift Sport and Pro transmission control systems. First, we'll be looking at Android devices. On the Android devices, all of your apps are located within the Play Store, along with the CompuShift setup app. Open the Play Store on your device, tap on the search field, and type in CompuShift, C-O-M-P-U-S-H-I-F-T, and hit search. You'll see that the CompuShift setup app is now located in our search results. Tap on install, and that will download and install the app onto your device. Once it's downloaded, tap on the open. When you open the app for the very first time, the phone will ask you if you want to allow CS Setup to access your device's location. Please click Allow only while using the app. The next thing, the app will ask you which device you're going to be using the application with. In this case, CS Sport and Pro has already selected, so I'm just going to tap OK. When you open the CompuShift Setup app, the first thing it will do is it will search for devices. You can see that's what it's doing right now. At the moment, the CompuShift module is not plugged in, so therefore it cannot find the device. However, there's a few little setup processes that you may wish to go through prior to connecting to the first module. To access the settings, tap on the three lines at the top left and tap on settings. In this area, you can actually change the device type that you're communicating with in case you've pressed the wrong one. That can just be tapped on and select whichever one you require. Scrolling down a little, you'll see that we can have control over the system measurement units. We have a few unit systems already preset, world, US, UK and SI. However, if you want a combination of these parameters, then just simply tap on each individual parameter and change it accordingly. So for example, we might want bar for pressure, we might want centimetres for length, Fahrenheit for temperature, torque on newton metres, and pounds for mass. I can absolutely have all of that. If I tap on the US system, then it resets everything back to the US. We also have control over the colour scheme or the theme. Tap on HGM Auto and you can select light theme, dark theme, or our classic theme. Alternatively, you can just leave it on auto and it will do it based on what your phone is doing. Below that, you have the ability to show or hide the tool tips. The tool tips are something that show a little bit more information about each parameter so that you have an understanding of what that parameter may or may not do. Showing signal strength in DB, this is a setting that changes the view in the devices list so you can see just how strong the actual Bluetooth signal is if you're having difficulties with connection. Stay awake when plugged in means that the device will stay uh, awake as it suggests and it will turn off the auto screen lock when you're plugged into power. This can be very handy if you're doing a lot of tuning and you don't want the device to keep going to sleep. Enable analytics is where it'll help us understand uh, issues or problems that you might come across and improve the app in the future versions. Gauge size addresses the dashboard area of the app where you can view uh, live data from the CompuShift. Now we'll switch over to the iPad and step you through finding it on an Apple device. On the Apple device, tap on the App Store, tap on Search and type CompuShift. Search. You'll see the CompuShift setup app is shown in the results. Tap on download. As this is not the first time I've downloaded it, it's already there, but you can click on install if yours hasn't been installed yet. Once the app is downloaded, tap on open. On the very first time of opening the device, just like on the Android, the device asks you if you'd like the CS Setup app to access the Bluetooth hardware, and tap OK. 
And then as you can see, we're doing the exact same uh, requests on what type of device that we want to use. In this case, the Computure Sport and Pro is what I'm looking for. I tap OK. From this point onwards, the systems are identical in the fact that under the three lines at the top left and settings, you'll see all the same sort of information and parameters that are available to set. In this case, it's set to world, but you can again change each individual parameters to whatever you desire. From this point forwards, I'm going to be switching to just using the iPad, just simply because it's a larger screen and easier to view. But the, the way that you connect to the modules and the way you operate is virtually identical. Now that we have power hooked up to the CompuShift module, we can see our green status LED is flashing away slowly. That indicates that we have good power supply running to the module. To make our initial connection to the CompuShift module, we tap on the CS Setup app. You'll see now that it lists any devices that it can see within range. As we have this module powered up, we can see that it is listed. So we tap on that to make our connection. When we first make the connection to the module via Bluetooth, it's going to ask us to pair like any other Bluetooth system does. We're going to click pair and that will now approve the connection between the two devices. Once we're in, we'll be presented with the home uh, menu. From here, we can navigate through the module and adjust various settings. The first thing, however, we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the firmware is up to date. We can release different uh, fixes, updates, improvements over the time and we always want to make sure that we're running the latest firmware before we start any calibration or adjustments. To do this, tap on the three lines at the top left and select Firmware Update. As you can see here, there is an online update available. To do that, I just tap on Install and I run the update. Now that the firmware has been updated, tap OK to return back to the system. With our firmware up to date, we can now proceed with setting up the transmission and engine type that the CompuShift module is going to control. We do this by tapping on Vehicle Setup. To configure transmission and engine type, tap on Set Transmission Engine Type. In the window that pops up, you'll have the two options, transmission type or engine type. First, tap on transmission type. We have a long list of transmissions that we support. Scroll down until you find the one that you have. In this case, I'm going to use the Toyota A340 as that is the loom that I have currently on the bench. For engine type, firstly, there are three universal engines at the top, gasoline engine, high-speed diesel, and low-speed diesel. The difference between high speed and low speed diesel is low speed diesel revs to a maximum of 3500 RPM. If your engine, uh, diesel engine revs above that, then choose high speed diesel with sensors. You'll also see that there are quite a few other engine types in here and they are all to do with CAN bus connections. So if you're using a uh, Megasquirt, Motec, Holly, Heltec, or any one of the uh, engine management systems that we have listed here, then you'll need to be connected via CAN bus to that engine management system and then in turn select the most appropriate uh, engine management system for that. For the moment, I don't have any other engine management systems hooked up, so I'm going to just choose high speed diesel with sensors. Then I'm going to tap restart. That will now configure the CompuShift module ready for controlling my transmission and engine. As you can see here, there are quite a few parameters that are covering your vehicle setup. However, in this particular video, we're not going to cover those items. This is more of an overview of setting up the app and getting the first connections. There's one last item I want to cover, and that's registration of a CompuShift module for registration purposes. To do that, tap on the three lines at the top left, tap registration. Under serial number, you can either type in the serial number or tap on scan and then point your camera at the QR code on the back of your module and it will scan the serial number in for you.
tap on next. This will take you to the registration form to, so you can enter in your details. When you're finished, tap submit and that's it. When you're finished and you want to disconnect from the module, tap the three lines at the top left, tap disconnect. You've now disconnected the module from the app. You can close down the app and switch off the power to the module. I hope this video has provided you with enough information to download and install the CompuShift Setup app as well as do the initial setup of the CompuShift Sport or Pro modules. My name's Jonathan from HTML Electronics. Catch you next time.